complex formulas that teach your taste buds just enough without overwhelming them, therefore overriding your brain's inclination to say enough. This takes me back to my point. When I decided that my family and I will no longer succumb to the antics and the underhanded science of the food industry, we will nourish our bodies, not to please our taste buds or our brains. I'm not saying we shouldn't enjoy what we're eating, it just should be in a whole form instead of processed. Not only, not only are processed foods possibly addictive, an estimate of 80% contain GMOs. Back in 2012, when I first found out about GMOs, I was in a panic every time I went to the grocery store. I would pick up a box of my kids' favorite cereal and look at the label, and much to my surprise, there was a corn or corn product. Aisle after aisle, box after box, corn, soybean. My heart would be racing. I was angry, frustrated, and freaking overwhelmed. I quit shopping at some of the major corporate grocery stores. What was I going to do? I have to feed my family. I kept researching so that I could be prepared at the grocery store. So I started shopping at health food stores. Though my choices were a bit more limited, however, I could breathe easier knowing that I was pulling my children out of the science experiment. Over the last year, it has gotten easier. As more people are becoming aware, choices are becoming easier. We have gotten away from almost all snacks and box foods. I'm not saying that we never eat a GMOs, and they do sneak in there, but it is not at the majority of our diet. This is a very difficult thing for my children, not having snacks, pizza, cereal, so forth, as what they have been used to. We just didn't realize how many GMOs were in the processed foods. The price of organic and non-GMO is higher, but I think I'm spending close to the same amount of money once I cut out all the processed crap. As I said earlier, the more majority of the the majority of the food that we eat is basic. Lots of fresh protein, eggs, milk, proteins, wheat, huge electricity products, antibiotic free meat. We have also cut back on our meat consumption to two to four times a week. Since October of 2013, we have began to check out other alternatives. There is an awakening go on, going on. There are tons of PSAs, co-ops. The most recent one I have used uh, is Bountiful Baskets and Farm Markets. Even some co corporate grocery stores have begun to sell more or organic produce at a reasonable price. It is a planned effort every time we shop. It does take a lot of work to live a GMO-free lifestyle and to support as many local organizations as possible. I feel if we do not support local, then local will fail and corporate will prevail. If the majority of the people would take the time to buy from a fo farmer, a co-op, or a local business, that would send the demand through the roof. If we want to sustain our real food supply, we are all going to have to become conscious consumers every single day of our lives. The food market is out of control, and only we can change it. Thank you. I tell you, I'm so impressed by y'all. What's a little rain? Um, okay, this is like a second by second kind of thing. Um, I think even if it stays like this, we can still march. What's a show of hands? Anybody? Anybody? Okay. Now, if it gets to be kind of like that last downpour, here's a couple of things. One, we can just go home and call it a day. Or two, we can go under the awning at the theater and hope it passes these showers are kind of uh, intermittent, as you can tell. Uh, so I'm going to vote for Plan B uh, if it gets really bad. But we're almost finished with the speeches. It is um, Christina West here. Okay, Christina. She has two buggy bakeries. Um, anyway, she's always posting on our Facebook group. Our group is so keep asking about how to get involved. Go to Facebook. Um, March Against Monsanto, Oklahoma City. Demanding food integrity. And that's how you get a hold of us. Okay, so let's do our first photo real quick. Everybody gather around here. And then anybody that's got a camera, go to the other side and take pictures. <laughs> 